Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Welcome to Postscript. I'm Dan Slagle, one of the pastors here at Faith Bridge, and today we were very blessed to have a great sermon from Timothy Atik, one of two that he's going to be bringing us on the person of Jesus. Today's message was entitled, I Am He. Great clip from Elf. I think that (laughs) really connected with a lot of people. Um, You're probably aware that in another of Will Ferrell's movies, he actually takes up the issue of the real Jesus. Uh, Ricky Bobby uh, (laughs) prefers to pray to the baby Jesus, whereas his buddy prefers to pray to the big Jesus. Uh, That's a a silly take, of course, on a very important question, namely, who is the real Jesus? And, Mm -hmm. And how can a person who genuinely wants to pursue him have a a confidence that, yeah, this, uh, This is the right one uh, that I'm going for here, the one that Timothy spoke of in his message, the one that the Scriptures in in every page of the Bible speaks of. Yeah. Well, um, great question. I think that, um, you know, what you have to realize and, and what everyone has to realize is that you have an enemy in this world, and his goal, and I said this especially during the second hour, his goal is to punch holes in in your understanding of who Jesus is. And so you you have to remember that in this world, there are lies coming at you constantly about who Jesus is. Mm-hmm. Yet God has given us his word to show us exactly who Jesus is. So a good question to ask yourself is, is my mind having more exposure to truth or to lies? Ah. If, if you're not engaging with the word of God at all, then we can confidently say that you're being exposed to more lies than truth. And so if you're not having in any engagement with the Word of God, then then the chances of your understanding of Jesus being distorted or misinformed are extremely high. Sure. So that's why if there's any reason to, to, to be engaged with the Word of God, it's to make sure that you do encounter the one true Jesus. And I, I tried to make that clear that Jesus shows up from page, you know, from Genesis to Revelation. Right. And so one of the best things you can do is anytime you read the Word of God is to not end your time until you've answered the question, what does this tell me about Jesus? Mm. That's a very simple exercise, but if you want to know if you're dealing with the with the true Jesus, then read the Word of God and answer the question, what does this tell me about Jesus? And in whatever the scriptures say, that's what goes. You don't you don't take it and filter it through your own understanding or through right. your own preferences. Your preferences have to bow to, you know, what has been clearly stated about Jesus in in the Word of God. And and that trickles all the way down through his commands that if he if he calls you to do something, you do it. It's it's not your job to then sift it through your filter and say, well, that seems radical. I want to do something that seems less radical. No, yeah. because you do it, that's not radical. That's normal. Sure. You know, that's the normal Christian life. So yeah. the, your best chance of knowing the true Jesus is by engaging with the Word of God and what it says about Him. Sure. That that sets very clear parameters yeah. on, on your search. And I think also once you have submitted yourself to those parameters, uh, you can have a confidence that he's more interested in finding you even than you are in finding him. Absolutely. I mean, he's not going to play hide and seek yeah. with you. And so if, if you're pursuing him through the word, yeah, not, not much doubt he's going to yeah. be found. Yeah, that's right. Good, good. Yeah. Hey, you've gotten us off to a great start. Thanks so much. Really looking forward to next week. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week as well. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.